Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Com8 here. Uh, we were going to play the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker today in VR because I've been playing all these GameCube games in VR lately using Dolphin VR. But uh, then it occurred to me that even though Dolphin VR is a pretty old piece of kit, I think uh, 2016 is uh, when the version I'm using was released. So even though it's that old, there still might be a bunch of people who have never heard of it or might have trouble setting it up because there is some settings involved. There's some, a little bit of complication to it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is do a tutorial video again. It's going to be similar to the one I did for Emu VR. It won't be nearly as long and complicated because it's not that hard of an installation. Uh, but I'll do a, a tutorial video and I'll do a, uh, I'll do my Legend of Zelda Wind Waker gameplay video and I'll release them both at the same time. You watch one, you can watch the other, you watch both. I don't care. Do what you like. Uh, but yeah, that, so that's what we're gonna do today. Alright? So, alright. Tutorial time. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go and click on the link down in the description because we gotta download ourselves Dolphin VR. Uh, you're going to click on the new version, Dolphin VR 5.0, sorry about that, uh, the one from July 13th, 2016, it's the newest one. Click on that, that'll take you to a mega upload site, and click download here, and just wait for the progress bar to complete. When that's done, you'll have it here on the desktop, you can double click on that, and say I agree, these two will already be checked. Put it wherever you like and install it's pretty quick installation when you're all done you'll have the dolphin vr icon on your desktop you can double click on that this is going to look different for you for me i've already added uh what do we got four games here you know, i was giving them a try but for you this will all be empty uh to start off though let's go into the configuration settings so let me maximize this you have your icons here in the in the toolbar. You got config, graphics, controller, and VR. Let's work our way through. So config, just kind of match up what I have here. I'm not saying it's going to work for you. You might have to fiddle with it a bit more, but this is what works for me. Uh, so take what I got as a way to get started. Uh, enable cheats. That definitely has to be on. That's all I believe I changed in here. Interface, I didn't change anything, nothing in audio. GameCube, I had to set the memory card. So what you do is you click on the three dots uh, next to it. And then you navigate to the Dolphin VR user uh, GC folder and then double click on the memory card USA. That way you can save your games. I didn't do anything in the Wii portion because I haven't messed with the Wii stuff yet. Uh, under paths. So what I did for this, let me get in here. Uh, I created a ROMs folder right in the Dolphin VR directory. And I did this because I use Hyperspin usually to play my GameCube games. And in there, I have them all compressed with 7-zip. But Dolphin VR doesn't seem to like uh, 7-zip and compressed files. It wants it just to pure ISOs. So I created a ROMs directory inside the Dolphin VR directory. I extracted a few games in there that I wanted to play uh, just so I didn't have to deal with the, uh, the seven, unzipping everything in my hyperspin folder. And then, yeah, add and then set it to that directory. And then it advanced, enable CPU clock override. I didn't check under the graphics settings. So for the back end, I have mine set to Direct3D because I have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card. Uh, you try OpenGL if you have one of the others. Um, full screen resolution, aspect ratio, all set to auto and nothing else is, unchecked, or is checked. I did try using full screen. Uh, it didn't work for me. It would uh, you basically it would just show a black screen and I couldn't exit out of it. Uh, the only way I could was to control delete and end the uh, Dolphin VR process. But you know you don't need it checked. You're wearing a helmet on your head. That's how you're seeing the game, right? Even if you want people in the room to see the game uh, on the TV, you just bring up uh, 
you know, your, your VR software and it will show. Okay, under enhancements, internal resolution, I have set the three times native. Uh, this is set to none, this is the one time. Scaled EFB copy is checked and stereoscopic 3D mode is set to off. Uh, I did not mess with anything else in here. Hacks, skip EFB, access from CPU, checked. Ignore format changes, check. EFB copies disabled, check. External frame buffer disabled. This was all set to default, I believe. Uh, other with the fast depth ca calculation and disabled bounding box. Both of those were checked. Again, I think those were both checked already by default. Under advanced, nothing is checked. Okay, let's carry on to controllers. And this, uh, you know, if you've ever worked with Dolphin VR, it's exact, or with Dolphin the emulator, it's uh, exactly the same setup. Uh, just go into configure and make sure this is set to your gamepad and then go through your buttons. I'll uh, leave this here for a second and not move ahead too fast. You can pause it and match up what I have. It works perfectly. I love it. Uh, make sure you set your rumble motor so that your controller vibrates. All that. Okay, moving on. And into the VR portion. So, I don't believe I changed anything in here. Let's have a quick look. No, I believe this was all defaulted just as it is. Under VR games, I did mess with this a bit, but uh, I believe I set it all back to defaults because I had problems with Mario Kart in the beginning, but I'll get into how I fix that. Uh, avatar show controllers I have checked I, I believe that's basically for the uh, Wii emulation that that's useful but I checked it anyways uh, motion sickness I didn't change anything and VR instructions are just this okay so that's the main configuration for uh, for Dolphin VR the emulator uh, now we have to get into the game specific uh, configurations because you know, you can double click on any one of these right now and it will work in VR, but it will have bugs. For example, uh, Mario Kart had a problem with the HUD. It was uh, a big block of garbage in front of my face. I couldn't see the track or the carts. So to fix that, click on it, right click and go properties. And then you'll have your game config. I didn't change any of that. In VR, same, hide objects, that's where it was. Go into hide objects, VR fix HUD corruption. That was the problem. Once I clicked on that, we're all good to go. You also have all these AR codes, and this is useful in other games too. Um, down here, this disable culling, you want to do that for every game. So, for example, what game was it now? Oh, it was Zelda. Zelda wasn't working for me at all. So properties and AR codes, disable culling on scenery objects, objects outside camera view, blah, blah, blah. And that fixed everything for me. So that's basically it. Uh, I've found that not every game works great. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, I haven't been able to get to a point where it uh, is even playable. Animal Crossing, it works, but you are, I don't know, about 100 feet above the game board, so it doesn't really work either. But uh, Mario Kart and Wind Waker, they work fantastically. So it's kind of a thing you just gotta play with. Uh, it's not like a, you know, you can just dump a ROM in here and expect it to work. You might have to play around a bit, especially with those AR codes. Remember to disable the culling. Look for things like if, if, if something isn't looking right, look into the settings of the game and see if there is a option that is going to fix it. Because I tried messing with all kinds of settings inside of Dolphin VR, uh, trying to get rid of this HUD problem. And I felt pretty stupid when I right clicked on the game and I was like, oh, there it is right there. There's just a checkbox I have to check. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I hope this works for you. Uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And I'll see you in a game here shortly. Bye-bye.